How can five philosophers eating noodles teach us one of the most important ideas in computer science? And it might even explain why your apps glitch or freeze sometimes. Picture this, five philosophers are sitting at a round table. Between every pair is one shared chopstick. To eat, each person needs two chopsticks. So they all grab the chopstick on their right. But now everyone has one and no one can eat. So everyone waits forever. That's called a deadlock in computer science. It's the same thing that can make your programs, apps, or computers freeze. Or maybe one of the philosophers keeps getting the chopsticks before the others. He ends up eating forever, which means no one else gets a turn. That's called starvation in computer science. So how do we prevent this from happening? Engineers use rules like, only pick up chopsticks in a certain order, ask a waiter for permission, or put a stick down and try again later. These rules keep everyone moving fairly. This whole situation is actually called concurrency in computer science. It's when multiple programs are sharing resources, and so you have to allocate certain resources for a certain time to different parts of your program. It's the same challenge behind database locks, shared files, microservices, and printer queues. So the next time your code hangs up, just imagine five philosophers fighting over chopsticks. 